Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 18th, 2023. Well, I hope everyone had a great weekend and got all rested up for another crazy week, likely, in the market. Let's take a look at what happened on Friday. Obviously, we had a pretty darn big reversal from that resistance level in the chart on the diamonds and all four indexes reversed back lower in a um, kind of a mean move because everyone was probably thinking, yes, we're off to the races to the upside here and then just completely reversed. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. How about we take a look at these charts and see if we can gain a little information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Remember the purpose of these videos is to look at these markets without a bias, without um, um, an idea of which way we're going to go. We're just going to look at the price action here in the chart, see if that helps us figure out how we might want to approach today. First off, if I uh, clean this chart up here, as you can see, we left behind kind of a bearish pattern here. A uh, little bit of a window on this side, a little bit of a window on this side, leaving this candle all by itself. And unfortunately, leaving that candle up here against that downtrend resistance, kind of all by itself. And you can see that price resistance across there as well affecting the chart. So if we take a look um, as I had it drawn up here, you can see we're still barely within this wedging pattern here on the diamonds, trying to hang it in there. And as you can see, we've got um, this support level across here that's a fairly substantial support in price action. What's going to be key is if we were, if you're a bull here, you want to see this hold. You want to see this hang in there and hold that support because if we lose that support, I suspect we're going to be losing the trend and also coming down here testing this level in the chart. And if that were to fail, then unfortunately, I think we move even lower. And that could be a rather painful move because if you look in here we could come all the way down to this area of the chart fairly easily and you can see quite a bit of price support in this range here in the chart so that would be a bigger level that might hold us here in the diamonds now we also want to keep in mind that here in the diamonds it, that we also failed our 50-day moving average once again. So kind of an unfortunate situation here where um, if you're a bull, that was probably a painful, painful reversal. And then if you take a look at the SPY, SPY very much the same thing, but unfortunately we left kind of a, a more of a bearish pattern here on the SPY. Notice we have um, these big windows on either side. That is a full on reversal. And we broke that little support area in the chart of those three days trying to hold in that area. And this is, this is a pattern that you'd call an abandoned baby. Uh, that is a very, very bearish pattern in the market, as the name would suggest, kind of a grim um, reminder there. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. And if we take a look over here, we did fail our 50-day moving average all in one move making for a pretty painful reversal. Now, if we go back and we take a look at the way I've got this drawn up, you can see we fell out of this wedge. And so far I'm leaving this green because we have that possibility. Remember, one day does not make a trend. Um, we want to prove that this um, is not going to hold before I turn that line red. So looking at um, across here in the chart, you can see as we push back here on Friday, we didn't quite break down through that area of price support. We tested it pretty hard, but we held in there. And this morning we're trying to bounce a little tiny bit. What's interesting in here is that we're seeing this pump up this morning. 
um, simply because Asian markets were were mixed overnight, mixed and mostly lower, and European markets are red across the board this morning. So it's kind of interesting that we're getting any kind of bounce. Be be kind of careful here if we do bounce back up that that could easily reverse. So watching this price support in here, if that were to fail, then you can see our next price support is substantially lower and that would be a rather painful move to the downside. If the bulls were to find inspiration in here, and I didn't mention that on the diamonds, but if the bulls were to find inspiration in here, let's suggest we push up here and test the underneath side of that trend. We can test that or maybe recover that uh, big dark candle here in the chart and then of course we would have to fill these windows here on this side those opening spaces and maybe come up inside the underneath side of that candle and that's certainly possible the way the market has been bouncing around um, once again um, Let's take just a real quick look at the diamonds. If the bulls were to find inspiration here today uh, to move up, I would say maybe up into this area of the chart and then possibly up into here. Let's look at our QQQ. QQQ, man, nasty reversal here. Um, we don't have those big open windows um, on either side of that candle. So a little bit better situation here, but obviously that was a painful reversal here just whipsawing all the way back down back below its 50-day moving average not really the best of signs and you can see we did hold on i've got this um, little trend line in here that we did hold on to that and we held this price support into the close but unfortunately we did give up this price support and um, we'll want to watch that pretty closely because if we were to continue to fail I want you to notice that looking down here our next level of price support might be down here you can see these levels right through here that might pick up that um, support here in the chart that'd be a fairly painful move and giving up this trend and giving up this area in the chart would certainly um, raise some concern here in the market if the bears were to really push on down uh, but that is the really only the support left um, in that chart or the next support i shouldn't say the only support left but the next support if this one gives it up and if the bulls find inspiration well let's suggest we push back up here and see if we can retest the high of that big ugly black candle and if we can push through there maybe right back up here to test these highs see if we can push on through and turn this chart back to the bullish side um, so watch that closely let's take a look at our IWM our IWM also dug on it um, well below our 50-day moving average and we came back down tested that 200 now the good news is on Friday IWM was a little bit stronger it held that 200-day moving average I want you to look at this pattern pretty closely if I draw this out you can see there's a pretty big head and shoulders pattern here and there's a little tiny head and shoulders pattern potentially um, coming into play here if this support level fails um, it's going to be painful I think here in IWM so if you're a bull you're going to want to see that hold in that chart now taking a look over here if we were to uh, fall and drop on through um, you can see our price support right in here that 200 day moving average if we were to fail that I'm going to suggest we come down here and retest these tails and I got to tell you if that fails because that's such an interesting pattern here in the chart we're well below our 50 day moving average I'm not sure that would stop it I think that chance that we could come all the way back down into here to test the more substantial level of price support in the chart would be a likelihood so you'll want to keep a close eye on that if if you're a bull you want to see this area hold now or um, if if the bulls really were to grab on and uh, find some inspiration here well the first place i would look is a push right back up here to see if we can test this resistance and break out of there if that hold if that doesn't hold as resistance then we're probably moving on up here to test this downtrend in the chart so watch that let's take a look at our VIX 
Our VIX obviously reversed pretty hard here on uh, Friday, back to the upside, but no damage here. You can see we still have this downtrend here in the chart. So if the bulls can come back in and just really fight to the upside, then really no damage here. But we'll want to watch that carefully. If this follows through to um, the, if the bears continue to push and we break on through this downtrend, Remember y'all, it doesn't get ugly in the chart until we break a trend like this and we hold a higher low. So if this were to hold a higher low and we start seeing that fear come into the market, well then, then we've got something to worry about here. So far, not terrible, but there are some concerns here to be um, watching. If we take a look at our uh, T2122, well, T2122 made a, made a hard turn here on uh, Friday reversing back down. We're up here near 80% of our stocks moving uh, to the upside. Remember, this is the four week uh, new high, new low ratio. And then we just made that hard turn right back down. But honestly, what we're seeing in here is we're seeing an awful lot of range bound chop. And not a surprise because we've been seeing kind of low volumes and a lot of choppiness here in the market. So what does T2122 tell us? Well, it says we're somewhere near the middle of the range here. So if the bulls can find some inspiration, we've got plenty of upside there that we can move if they can pick up something out of the data to move us to the upside. If the bears find information to push us on lower, we still have a substantial potential move to the downside to be aware of. Our T2108, uh, got to tell you, T2108 pulling back on Friday, as big a move as that was, really didn't damaging, damage anything here in T2108. We, 33% of the stocks is hard to make a bullish case out of, but at the same time, it didn't break this support with that hard pullback on uh, Friday. So holding up okay in here if we can hold some of these support levels then realize we can push back up and start testing some of these resistance levels in the chart if the bulls can find inspiration if the bears were to get busy here and break this support then i'm suggesting we're likely coming down into these next levels of price support in the chart T2107, the percentage of stocks holding above the 200 day, also pulled back a little bit, but the good news here, we didn't take out those lows. So as long as we can hold in here, 40, almost 45% of the stocks holding above their 200 day, that's not terrible. If we can hold this support level, we might be in good shape. I wanna point out that big head and shoulders here um, as well. So if the bears were to really get going and push on down, then um, I'm thinking we're probably gonna come back down and test some of these levels down in here. If they can push on through, that's a big if. If they can push to the upside, then we'll look for some of these levels up in here to uh, resistance areas in the chart so watch that carefully in t2107 but it held up better on friday than i really would have expected with the big move that we saw in price action our t2101 this might be if you're a bull this might be hopeful for you um, if you take a look at t2101 we actually had breadth decline on friday which on such a big price action move, you would have thought breadth would have come up, but it didn't. It, it pushed on back, so our breadth continues to sink away here. Now that's not, it's kind of that double-edged sword. It can it can be hopeful that the bears weren't really pushing with aggress um, a major aggression to the downside, but it, at the same time, it's tough to make a bullish case when we see um, a breath kind of falling away. And I think there's reason for that to be happening because of the data that we have coming uh, this week. Let's take a look at um, some of that data here. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar, we have got, excuse me, our economic calendar. We don't have much for today, but I want to point out this over here, FOMC uh, announcement. The Fed uh, press conference will be here as well Wednesday. 
a lot of uncertainty about that with the numbers that we've seen out there. Of course, the Fed is, uh, the consensus is kind of suggesting the Fed will not raise rates, but they're likely to continue to threaten to raise rates and we'll see what happens later on. Um, but that's obviously a little bit of an uncertainty here this week that could keep the uh, breadth of the market low just to hurry up and wait. But for today, we've got a housing market index number. We've got a couple of bond auctions, Treasury International Capital after the bell. Keeping in mind on Tuesday, not much in there as well. We've got housing starts and permits. And then, of course, uh, uh, mortgage applications. We've got uh, uh, petroleum status, FOMC, and the Fed chair. Keeping in mind on those mortgage applications, one of the things that we're seeing right now, even this morning, those bond yields are continuing to stay pretty elevated and our the strength of the dollar is also adding to some of the bearishness that we're seeing here in the market. Uh, then on Thursday, we have a big day. Jobless claims, Philly Fed, current activity, existing home sales, we get those leading inventories, natural gas, we'll be um, uh, in that and a Fed balance sheet. And then at the end of the week, just a PMI flash and a Baker Hughes rig count, which probably nobody's going to be paying much attention to. Let's take a look um, at um, our earnings calendar. And our earnings calendar, boy, there just really isn't anything going on here in our earnings calendar. Um, very, very light um, on that report this morning. We have just one that really somewhat makes um, a notable list, and that's Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix has been moving down pretty sharply here. It's only $3.29, which really tosses it out of the super interest here in the chart. Um, as a notable, it's not going to be a market mover at all. You can see running into some issues here, a bit of a downtrend in play. We'll be reporting today, so keep a close eye on that. And honestly, that is the only uh, notable for today. Now, one thing to be making note of is um, we are reaching that point in time where the next quarter of earnings coming up, and we're going to hit a place here in the market where all, about 50%, I think the number is close to 50% of the companies this week will reach their blackout period, which means uh, companies themselves can no longer be buyers, sellers. They can't do much of anything. They can't say anything um, here. Um, and so that's going to be a little bit problematic for the market. And the reason that is, is because we are near the second highest period of all time for company or corporate buybacks. Um, it'll be interesting to see how long they can continue to do that. But right now, $789 billion being bought back by companies and unfortunately if they go into their blackout period we're likely to see those volumes drop off here dramatically because that is a big portion of the market volume right now let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, that would be click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that. I truly appreciate it. You know, putting these videos out every day, it does require quite a bit of effort. and um, um, that appreciation from you guys is, is uh, well, it means a lot to me. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, also, just a big shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link just below the title of the video. Let's take a quick look in here and let's see if we can um, take a look at a few stocks that may be setting up and potentially moving. One thing I noticed here um, all through last week, we started to see an, an improvement here in some of our defensive sector stocks. Kraft Heinz, take a look in here. Coming up, we're breaking these downtrends. 
you can see potentially, potentially, it's not confirmed yet, holding a higher low. And you can see that possible inverted head and shoulders pattern may be coming into play. There could be a little bit of worry starting to creep up here on the institutional side about which way the market's going to go. And sometimes we get this rotation then into defensive sector stocks, these good quality stocks that pay high dividend yields. So keep an eye on that. You might want to keep an eye on PepsiCo. PepsiCo making that move back to the upside, pushing into some resistance, trying to hang in there. Um, I would watch this carefully for a little rest or pullback and then look for that next opportunity to the upside. But I'm seeing some of those defensive sector stocks perking back up. Take a look at um, um, AT&T. AT&T, another one of those. It's not in the defensive sector. Obviously, it's in telecommunications sector, but nice little pattern in here. You guys know I've been mentioning it for a while and picking up off of that bat bottom, breaking that downtrend, pushing on through. So keep an eye on that. This may just continue to move on up. And again, why would people be buying this up off the bottom, particularly this time of year? Well, probably that dividend yield and everyone's looking for a little bit of safety here in the market. Take a look at um, Mosaic. Mosaic has been struggling here in the market and this um, failing right here at this downtrend and resistance, I'd be watching some of these commodity um, agricultural based stocks as long as we continue to see the dollar strengthening watch this carefully we might see those continue to sell off there might be some um, um, short trades um, in there to be watching take a look at um, amd amd nasty reversal here we've been following this down channel here in amd failing at price resistance here big reversal on Friday. I would watch that if this bounces back up at all. Um, looks like that is setting up uh, for more short to the downside and well downside channel is pretty clear where that could potentially go. Taking a look at some of the big techs, um, if we look at Google, Google held in there really strong and has been very, very strong here in this market. Um, breaking through some resistance, it's just resting here a little bit. Watch that closely if that can hold. There may be some more upside coming in that. Um, NVIDIA tried to make that break for the upside as you can see in here and then doggone it. Well, what we ended up doing is putting in another lower high in the chart, pushing on down. So it looks like there is that possibility uh, NVIDIA could, could continue just a little bit lower maybe to test this price support. You can see we're gapping maybe down there this morning. So watch that area in here to see if it can bounce. I, I, I wouldn't hold my breath on that because once again, I think all of these big companies are going to be entering their blackout period. They're not going to be able to buy back their stock. Uh, we're likely to see these volumes drop off. So uh, watch that closely. Um, let's take a look at the energy sector. Oh my goodness. Um, energy has been all over the place. Um, take a look at this Exxon Mobil, just how incredibly volatile this has been. Uh, black candle, white candle, black candle, white candle, black candle, white candle, black candle, white candle, black candle. Um, just we can't figure out um, <laughs> a, a enough momentum to stay all in one direction. Well, what we've done is finally squeezed up here into this price resistance area of the chart. Let's watch that closely. This will be critical as to whether the stock can break out. If it can break out up here and hold, then I'd be looking for some more upside opportunity. However, with our trend out here in the chart, it is entirely possible this could start to fade and pull back or even consolidate um, over here for a period of time in ExxonMobil. But that being said, boy, there are a lot of stocks in this sector that just look stellar. Take a look at uh, ConocoPhillips. Yes, we're dealing with some price resistance here in the chart, but that is a very constructive chart, continuing to look good. Taking a look at stocks like APA, this one started to falter from that resistance up here. Watch that. Um, so we, you can see we've got this mix in this sector and I think one of the reasons that is the case is because our dollar is so strong. It 
it, it, it's unusual to see any commodities moving to the upside with such strength in the dollar. And having said that, boy, there was a surpriser on Friday here with the strength of the dollar bond yields going up. Take a look at GLD, gold. Gold made a big pop here on Friday. I'm not sure why that would be the case with the strength of the dollar. Obviously, there's still a lot of resistance. We still have, whoops, that didn't work so good. We changed, uh, automatically changed a color and a tool here. So let me fix that. As you can see, that downtrend is still in play. So watch that carefully. This is only going to become interesting if maybe we can break that downtrend and hold and then gold would be really interesting. And silver also made an interesting move on Friday, which I wouldn't have expected with the strength of the dollar. So just be really, really careful here in the market. A lot of mixed signals, lots of uncertainty here to be addressing heading into an FOMC week. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Be careful out there. A lot of, a lot of things going on here, um, not to mention, you know, the, the strikes, um, the issues going on geopolitically. Boy, we've got a lot on our plate. So with that, have an awesome, awesome day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you all the best.